So today I'm on some shit like Get off that whole shit Get on your pro shit Get off that scroll shit Get on your post shit What's goody Triumph fam? We back in this thing. You already know what it is. Had a revelation in the shower earlier. And on the way up out of that thing, I was like, yo, I gotta do this chilling with Tri, man. Too much time has gone by without me doing one. It's like, yo, that don't make sense, man. Come on, man, you gotta get on your shit. And as far as that phrase goes, you're a pro at being yourself, if anything. So show the world. Show people. Don't, don't, don't keep that in. You know, you might be a pro at doing something else. Like me, I'm good at taking pictures, videos, and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, apply it to that area then. Show somebody. Go be a pro. Go do your thing. And where you can show it is on social media. Instead of scrolling, post. Get off that scroll shit. Get on your post shit. You feel me? And in order to post something, you have to be great. You have to have a good day in order to post parts of it. So in order to be on your pro shit and get off that whole shit, you're going to have to cut off the distractions. You're going to have to cut off people who are on that whole shit. People who own some bullshit. If you're new here, go ahead and like, subscribe. You won't regret it. I mean, that's just what it is. I was just on the phone with a friend of mine and she was asking, why do people always feel like they can call me with their problems? Why do people always call me with their problems, but then when I have problems, I can't call anyone? I'm like, yo, it's because you let them. You think it's okay for them to call you with their problems. And they think it's okay because you letting them think it's okay. It's not cool. I told her, I was like, she was like, my feelings would be hurt if I tell them, you know, that, you know, they can't call me with their problems anymore. And I'm like, mine wouldn't. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I know yours wouldn't because I done told her. Even that with her telling me about the people calling. And I'm like, I kind of cut that short. Like, no, no, ma'am. No, sir. That's not what we do. You know, every once in a while, yeah, you may have to complain or someone that you care about may have to complain. You can be a shoulder to lean on, but but no, for the most part, that's just not how we come in. One thing I have noticed um, as far as growing in the manifesting world and, and the uh, the law of attraction world, or however you want to put it, is that I um some of my peers I've left behind because there's no way that they could be studying stuff like this. It feels good to actually advance. It feels good to the glow up. You feel me? It feels great when you know that you're kind of leaving them in the dust. It's like, yeah, I'm still my boys. I'll still check on them. I'll still reach out. We sometimes we shit. We still hang out. But when you notice that they're still acting how they acted in high school, when you notice that there's absolutely no way they can be on the same level that you're on as far as growth and maturity, it can be kind of sad. But at the same time, it's a way to measure your growth. It's a way to know that you have leveled up. Some people you got to you just got to cut them off. You got to snip, snip. All my people know it's still going to always be all love, but hey, evolution is real. You know, you got to grow. Don't be afraid to grow. You know, don't be a hoe, be a pro. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me like? A person's whole day can be consumed with scrolling. It's like I've been there. Even before I started this video, I was scrolling a little bit. I picked up my phone right before I started to turn the camera on. Scroll for a few seconds. I said, yeah, damn. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to talk about not scrolling. Here I go. It's easy. I get it. But cut it. You got to cut some people off. And sometimes you got to cut social media off. You feel me? Snip. Snip. Snip it. For real. There's a whole commercial on 102 Jams right now. I'm in uh, North Carolina, so your radio station, wherever you are, I'm sure you're getting it too because it's about Instagram having negative effects on kids. You know those commercials. 
If you or your loved ones have been influenced negatively by Instagram, call this number. You know how it go because our kids' mental and physical health is being compromised. It's deteriorating. By Instagram and Facebook, Meta. It's sad as hell. Like I had to unfollow a few pages like last week. Yo, I pull up my Instagram, it's people's legs being broken and shit on these uh some of these gym fell pages i'm like yo i don't want to see that you know what i mean people getting ran over by cars and stuff angry girlfriends running over their boyfriends with cars yo unfollow i don't need that i don't need any of that i should just like low-key depressing man crazy i had to unfollow a few pages so it's like the kids like, come on. I, um, I saw this one episode of Rick and Morty where uh, you got, uh, what's what's the daughter name? Is it Beth? She, I don't know. She said something to her mom. Y'all know the episode where she said her mom said something like uh, something about being traumatized. And uh, baby girl was like, bitch, I get traumatized for breakfast or some shit like that. It's <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> that shit real, man. That shit real. These kids, I mean, these kids are like low-key numb and i mean i don't think it's cool in a way yeah you know you want to have tough skin you want to be able to face the world yeah but to what degree are you willing to you know sacrifice a kid come on like yo hell nah and then even some of the good stuff it's like they're comparing themselves you know there are other people living great lives on on Instagram and Facebook. And this can be motivation. Yeah, for sure. But is it like pay attention to the kids, like see if it's motivation. Notice if they are comparing themselves to these people who are just posting the good things that are happening in their lives and leaving out the bad. And feed me like get off that scroll shit you feed me you can scroll a whole day away i ain't gonna cap i done sat on my phone and looked up and like a whole like hour passed and i'm just scrolling i mean of course you have your lazy days and you're like ah and i ain't doing shit today and you end up scrolling a lot but honestly even like letting that come out of my mouth just now it don't even sound right like no scrolling all day no do something and it's like i can talk like that because i was raised where there was no scrolling and there's only so much that you can watch on tv on cable television before you want to get up and go do something you want to go outside or you want to write something or you want to read something or draw something you feel me? So I realized uh, the I realized the benefit of that. Reading, writing, drawing. Some of these things create a successful people. Going outdoors, socializing, journalism. You feel me? Um, um, being an activist. You know, getting involved in the community. A lot of the this stuff builds skill, but if you're just sitting there on your phone scrolling, like, come on, like, make sure, you know, if you're a parent watching this, make sure your kids, you know, and even you, make sure you, you know, doing something because you're the influence. You feel me like? Get off that whole shit. Get on your pro shit. Get off that scroll shit. Get on your post shit. Instead of scrolling, you know, go work out or you know have your kids go play up you know go outside like you see your, your friends outside playing ball go you know what i'm saying but um yo i was in the shower often in the shower is where you get your ideas there's a science behind it. In the shower, or when you're just using the bathroom, in your car, you know, because you get into this state where you're using, uh, where you're kind of just on autopilot. 
you know, everything is second nature that you're doing. You're driving, you know, you're going to switch gears here and signal here. You, it's all second nature. So your mind goes into, you know what I'm saying. But um, in the shower, I, I just felt so grateful. And you want to tap into that when you just feel grateful for your life. Gratitude is so powerful. I know a lot of our men... Um, Feelings like gratitude or, and joy and, and, you know, maybe if, you know, like feel good movies that almost make you want to cry, stuff like that. We try to, you know, cover our feelings when it comes to that kind of thing. Not healthy, bro. Not healthy, not cool. <laughs> it's just where we seem to be, though. This world is something else. But um, I ain't even going to cap. Doing this video alone, I've conquered a fear, if you will. I've always been the type of person who wants to do things privately. And my roommate is right next door and these walls are paper thin. Somebody needs to hear this because... Your mom might be next door. Your brother and sister always picking on you. But you want to practice spitting your bars. Or you want to practice reciting that speech you wrote. Or that poem you wrote. But you embarrassed. Or some crazy stuff like that. You, you shy or whatever. You feel like you're not good enough or something like that. Bump that, yo. Do what you got to do. Do your shit, yo. Fuck that scary shit. Do your shit, yo. Like, you never know. You might be able to, you know what I'm saying? If you got bars or something like that, you might be able to, you might be able to spit the shit to your brother or sister or your mom or dad, whoever. You might be wanting to work out, do some crunches or some, some squats or something, baby girl. You might be a mother wanting to work out in, the, in your living room, but you think your kids are going to judge you or some shit like shit. Fuck, like... Fuck that. Do your shit. Because it's only 24 hours in a day. Tomorrow is only going to be 24 hours. The next day, the same thing. Time is going to keep going. What you want to look back and be like, I was embarrassed. Too embarrassed to do my shit, to do my thing. You don't need a gym to work out. <laughs> You know someone is going to bring it up. You're going to continue to say, ah, I don't work out because I, I don't have time to go to the gym. And I, I don't want to work out in front of my kids. And, uh, you know, whatever it is. It might be, you know. Maybe you want to make a YouTube video. Somebody need to hear this. Don't be on that. Don't have that scared energy. To hell with that scared energy. Feel me like. Let's get it. It might be that you draw and you just don't want to do it because of the people in your home. You never know how they're going to react, for one. And if you do know how they're going to react, that's a benefit to you. Just be ready for it. Still do what you do, though. One thing that I've been on lately is focusing more on your future than your past. And I know it, it might sound cliche, you know, like, dang, I heard that. I hear that shit all the time, you know. Don't dwell on your past. Focus more on your future. But it's not until it clicks. You know, the more you focus on the bullshit in your past, the more you're going to feel those feelings. And once you understand that your feelings are what create your life, you understand that it's more beneficial to be excited about your future to be eager to experience your future a lot of the, a lot of this stuff ain't easy it's not <laughs> you literally have to stop yourself from thinking certain things throughout the day every single day but what's easier doing that or living a shitty life because you prefer to think about your bullshit past or even your bullshit present, which sucks more. I mean, it's it, it don't cost it costs nothing 
to imagine a great future. Don't be so busy focused on how fucked up things are right now in your life that you forget to notice the dope shit around you. When you get to my level, as far as like recognizing how you manifest your life, you notice certain people and like why their lives kind of suck. Like you know that when they're alone, they self-loathe, they complain to themselves, they probably cry like by themselves and say certain negative things. I'm here to lift. So it's like, say you may, you may have a boyfriend, right? And he's trash. You go in and telling your friends he's trash. You complaining to them. And then you go home and you're arguing with him on the phone. Do you know that you can actually call him and say, I'm done unless you absolutely need this person. And even then there are places that you can reach out to and get help so that you can make that divide happen. But you can call him and say, I'm done. If you don't need him, yeah, it'll hurt for a little while, but it's very simple. Cut it. Some people you got to snip and then watch other areas of your life will improve. Once you snip that, you'll see other things that get snipped. Like the fact that you're complaining to your friend, y'all's relationship gets better because now your conversation doesn't suck. It doesn't have that one part in it where you make everything sad. You make the energy in the room sad or even over the phone. Now you're not yelling at your kids because you're frustrated by your boyfriend. The arguing stops. Your attitude at work gets better. And this is just an example. If there's anything in your life that's causing you to be on some ho shit instead of some pro shit, cut it. <laughs> you know, and you'll notice that other areas of your life improve as well. But yeah, y'all know what it is. I'm always be here trying to motivate. Y'all know how I'm coming each and every time, baby. Definitely leveling up in many areas in my life right now. Life is good. <clears throat> I think that's about it. Thanks for chilling with me.